Moving on to commodities now, and crude getting hit pretty hard this morning. It's off about 3% now, trading at around $55 a barrel as global worries weigh on the markets. Let's bring in Yahoo Finance's Jared Blickery for our commodities report. Seemed like just the other day I was yeah. talking to you about a rebound. Is this all about China? They, they did get some disappointing data on exports overnight, down about 21% for the month of February. But there's more at play here. Uh, crude oil has, be, has been responding to the weak data coming out of the U.S. It started last Friday with the ISM report. We saw a big drop in crude at that point. Um, we saw it Monday on the construction report. The, that number was also a bit bearish. And then today, the headline payroll uh, number was a bit weaker than expected, as we've been talking about. Right. So we saw a drop on that. Put all of that together, and we have now drop below $55 a barrel. It's been trading in a range crude oil has mm -hmm. for, for several weeks now, from 55 to 58. Right, and, now, break out. and now we've broken down below that. So some factors at play here, I really think it's the economic data in the U.S. That's, gonna, that's actually going to drive it. We've seen uh, OPEC cutting uh, production. We also have U.S. shale producers scaling back a little bit. Mm -hmm. Last week, Baker Hughes on Friday reported that there was a drop of 10 rig counts for the week, and we'll get that number again at 1 p.m. today. And we'll also get some data out of the CFTC for the first time in several months at 3.30 p.m., and that is a commitment of traders report. That tells what funds are doing, what the hedgers are doing, and because of the government shutdown, that report has been backlogged for a long time, finally getting caught up yeah, today. Yeah, it could possibly move the market. We don't talk about it a lot, but copper. Dr. Copper. Yeah, what are traders are turning bearish there, I guess? Yeah, so this is really a China story. Not so much the U.S. data, but uh, copper has had a, ni a nice run-up. Uh, I think it was the best February or the best month in a couple couple years here for copper and also some of the other base metals like zinc uh, and aluminum and uh, that's they're just falling off right now because of the story in China there are concerns about the trade deal and also that weak export number for February really hit prices overnight